My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you the newest version of Loop Cloud, which is Loop Cloud 5 from Loop Masters. This is a cloud-based sample and sound library that you're able to use to create. And the key emphasis here is that it's in the cloud. And what's really nice about this is you can add your own samples to it as well. I'm on the home screen here, and, and you can see there's already a huge variety of sounds that you have here and more is added every day so in my presonus adam review i mentioned that i'm getting back into producing just really to have fun with it and so i'm going to show you how i've built a track with loop cloud here and then i'm going to move it into studio one so you'll notice here that it shows that it's connected to studio one so i'm going to flip over to studio one here and you'll see that i have the loop cloud uh, VST inserted here. Once you insert the Loop Cloud VST, it will then connect to your DAW. And as you can see here, mine is uh, connected to Studio One. I've got a, a track that I've started building here, and the plan that I have comes with eight tracks. And I'm going to be working out of the New School Boom Bap uh, sample pack here. So we're going to search for that. we go so I'm gonna uh, quickly play you here what I've built here and this is just for me going through selecting sounds and putting them on the tracks here which once you select your track you just find your sound but I'm gonna quickly play you what I have so far okay so I'm going to start by this track that's muted here, which is the same piano sample from here. So with this track, I'm gonna unmute it and I'm gonna chop it up because I'm gonna add some effects here. And Loop Cloud 5 has effects, so we're going to, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I'm going to hop into the effects edit here. And let's add some effects. Let's start with a reverb. Let's add a little delay. And lastly, let's add, let's add a filter. And let's see how that sounds in the track. All 
Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go to my seventh track, and I want to add some more drum tops here. So I'm going to filter through tops and... Okay, so I don't, I like some of this, not all of it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to snip just the part that I want, just from here to here. Let's get rid of this. We'll bring this back. And we'll just duplicate this a few times. All right, let's see what we got now. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now to get ready to move this into Studio One, it's going to select the buy files here down in this corner. It's going to process the effects and all the changes that I made to these files. So to get this into Studio One, I can either select the original or the process file. I want the process since I made changes. Just click and hold that. Go over to Studio One, and I can drag it into the session. So I've had a lot of fun using a Loop Cloud recently, and as I get more familiar with it, I'll be doing more videos. And like I said, there's new sounds added to this every day, ton of sounds to choose from, and remember, it's all in the cloud, as the name suggests. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know. I've got a link uh, for you to learn more about uh, Loop Cloud in the description here. And I'll catch y'all next time.